So this part one series of Booking.com tutorial for the host is all about the facilities and amenities and rate plans of Booking.com. I'm going to help you how you can configure that to make sure your guests won't confuse and you won't get in trouble. <laughs> cover about the facilities and the amenities of booking.com because I think this is the misconfigured settings that I did when I was starting in booking.com as a whole so if you are having same problem with me hopefully this video um, will work and I think the most important amenities and facilities that you need to take a look is the Wi-Fi. If you offer a Wi-Fi put that on that is the most important part in booking.com because a lot of guests prefer to have a Wi-Fi facility. So if that, if you have that thing into your property, then put it on. And I know it's a little bit hard to configure that in Booking.com. That's why I'm going to show you how that works. Um, for the private parking as well, um, for the parking, I'm going to show you how you can configure it. And for the swimming pool facilities and for the non-smoking area, if your property doesn't have an area where they can smoke then place this warning in here if you don't want to get in trouble so i would assume that you already have a booking.com account in here or a listing if you don't know how to create a listing in booking.com you can check my link description below for the tutorial so i'm going to jump into the admin section in here and yeah i'm going to also let you know how you can change the number of bedroom into your property in case you um accidentally put the wrong bedroom number because my one of our viewers asked me how to do that so i'm going to insert that in this video so to change the number of bedroom into your listing go into the property section and go to the property layout so on the property layout click that edit section in there and then okay you click that okay and then let's say if it's it's if it's a three bedroom then you need to change the apartment name and make it three bedroom or um if it's just a studio or apartment if it's an apartment then you can change the bedroom number in here now obviously i just want it to be two bedroom condominium let's get back to that um where is it yeah two bedroom apartment number of apartment type i'm gonna put in just one there i'm not sure why that is one so children um, I can also max out the guest to seven and the number of but okay and living room one yeah I can put it that way and then in here um, we'll jump in with the amenities okay because for the Wi-Fi again if you offer a Wi-Fi into your booking that comment actually i'm going to replace that to six i am not comfortable of putting seven in here let's just make it six yeah let's make it six so um yeah to go in to access the amenities area go into the policies let's start first with a wi-fi because a lot of people misconfigure it they put in they didn't put a wi-fi into their property even though they already have a wi-fi so just go into the property and the policies section scroll down and there should be an option in here called internet and parking so um, you click that edit there and then if it's a free one or paid one you can put that there and for the parking info click the facilities and services um, you can actually put in two parts two types of parking so I'm gonna search control so yeah consider control F for the parking is parking available into the guest you see um, I set it into yes and then I have a parking one which is i'm going to put in paid um street parking so it's a street parking actually there's also an indoor parking um yeah we'll put it three and pesos um yeah and then i'm going to add another parking too which is in indoor parking 
on site and then it's required a reservation um yes it's a paid parking and then another parking public parking outside fairness outside the guard house um it's an outdoor parking it's an offsite it's public um it's not not required um no i'm gonna put in all no in there and then hit save so we have that and um there should be two different types of parking there okay and for the swimming pool and the, the non-smoking rooms thing you can go in to the and then you can also put in a lot of like fill in the more things that you can fill in into the property section and to the facilities and into the amenities section the better so you can improve your page score um for the swimming pool again i set up a yes in there um it's you can put in this is a free one we um we offer free for for our guests and for the non-smoking you can search in smoke here so free smoking area it should be a no designated smoking area yes and saved okay so we'll cover about how you can manipulate the pricing details of your booking.com um okay i would assume that you already have a listing in booking.com if you don't know how to get started i have a tutorial how to create your first listing in booking.com as a host you just check my just check my link description below for reference so yeah back to the tutorial i would assume that you already have a listing in here and maybe you don't know how this how you can configure this so yeah you just need to jump into the back end area of your booking or booking portal under the admin that booking.com and then you go into the calendar section and by the way we'll cover about the rate plans later but i'll just show you i just want to show you how you can manipulate this stuff in here okay so we're currently in the monthly view but it's a little bit confusing for like for me just own perspective it's so confusing for me to um, edit it in the monthly view so let's jump into the list view okay so currently so let's take a look in here so currently we have um three rate plans we have a standard rate we have a non-refundable rate and weekly rate oh if you are confused with this stuff in in this stuff we'll cover that later now if you want to manipulate the pricing of your rate you can just click in this part here called edit okay and currently i have set up like if it's for guests you can also come up with a maximum uh, base capacity by the way but i would just prefer five when you said base capacity this is like the like the like the base price that they can see in here the default price that they can choose so i'll just prefer five guess in here and i would this is so important guys because when you try to set up the pricing as a p like uh, a currency i'm not sure why this is happening in booking.com but when i tried to set that up as a pricing discount as a currency discount it gives me this weird um error i'll, I'll show you let me save that okay now if i preview this one in here it's a little bit off like the pricing i'm I'm not i really don't like the pricing like i see sometimes it's it's 400 pesos which is around four dollars so i i really recommend guys to avoid using the the currency um currency what do you call that currency discount um yeah it it happens to me 
I'm not sure it's not reflecting right now because it takes time to to generate in booking.com but you will see some weird problems like weird pricing like maybe the pricing is too low if you set up into a currency that is based on my experience so I would recommend to just set up a percentage um, discount instead of a currency discount so we'll jump in in here I'm going to make that one for the free guests um, just two percent and these are five percent or maybe just four percent okay now for weekly rate um, non-refundable um, actually I'm going to remove that non-refundable rate plan later but yeah for the weekly rate um, I would also want to use a percentage versus a currency. So we'll make that for the weekly rate that is only 2000. Um, I would maybe 4% discount. And for the free guest, this one is for 7% discount and 7% discount. Okay, so that's how you can set up the pricing variation into your listing in here. Oh, see what happens? Like this is one, this is the one that I set up earlier into a currency pricing. It became 600, 400. That's not what we want. That's only $7. I mean, 400 pesos is only, two, it's only $4. This is only um $6. So I would really recommend guys to avoid the currency pricing. It's it's currently reflecting this is the changes that happened when i set up to uh, when i set it up to the currency one so yeah just avoid using a currency discount use a percentage discount if you don't want this weird pricing stuff okay so yeah that's how you can manipulate the pricing of your calendar now we'll jump in with the rate plan now Currently, I have this three types of rate plans. I have a standard, non-refundable, and weekly rate. Now, I don't want to have a non-refundable thing. Like, I'm willing to offer a refundable, maybe a partial refund, if they inform me ahead of time. So, under the rate plans in here, I... I, I set up a non-refundable before to protect myself, but I think it's a little bit unfair for someone um, that paid for the full amount if they inform me ahead of time. So I'm going to remove this stuff in here. I don't want to offer a non-refundable um, policy. I have a standard rate and a weak rate. Okay, so standard rate, um, weekly rate has more cheaper um, pricing versus the standard rate. Now, if you click in the add a new rate in here, booking.com will ask you what kind of rate you want to offer with the guests. Do you want to offer, I mean, they have options. If you, if you want to add all of this rate plans, they can also do that. Like if they, if you want to offer maybe for flexible, it's less versus on the non-refundable rate. For weekly rate, obviously, it's lesser compared to a daily rate and monthly rate is lesser versus on a weekly and daily rate. If you want to have an early booker thing, then you can also have that one. But actually, I want an early booker rate. I'm probably going to set up a... But for the early booker rate, I want to have a non-refundable stuff. So we'll go in a non-refundable for the early booker and they will i am willing to get two percent i will i am willing to give two percent discount on top of my other um standard pricing if they book ahead of time okay yeah four percent i think i'm fine with that yeah and then or maybe let's make it three percent in here and review and activate Okay, and then if you want to offer a a monthly plan, then click this one in here for a monthly plan. Um, I am willing to to provide provided by let's see twenty percent of 
Let's see if I am not sure. Maybe that's too high for for the twenty five percent of for bad in math. Yeah. Okay. I am willing to provide twenty percent for a monthly plan, but yeah, I don't want to offer as well a flexible rate because blocking the 28.9 is a real deal okay so it's a non-refundable for me for a monthly rate um standard but i'm gonna offer a 20 yeah 30 percent discount maybe yeah it's fine for me for 30 percent discount and then monthly rate review yeah oh, okay let's see how much is that 30 percent Okay, I'm fine with that. So I have four types of rate plans. The standard rate, which is applicable for daily rental, weekly rate, early bird, if they check in um, maybe 15 days earlier, monthly rate, which has the highest discount so far. Yeah, so it's already updated. It, it, I mean, the $400 happens because of I did the custom rate one i mean the currency discount so avoid using that if you don't want to get in trouble 